I adjust properties in the inspector and the object immediately updates itself accordingly. It's very convenient in many situations, and in this video I'll show you how to achieve the same thing. First I create room game object to contain the setup and room C# -sharp script. The very first thing we need is to create a custom editor. I create a class inherited from editor, mark it with custom editor attribute and specify the class for which this editor is going to apply. The only thing we need to do in our editor class is to override the method which draws the inspector, or inspector GUI. And we actually don't need to do much here either. We just call the same method from the base class, but surround it with a change check. In case any changes were made, we need to recreate the room, for which we need to call the corresponding method, which I'm going to create next. But before that, let's define the properties of the room that we want to control. Wall thickness, wall color, width, height, beam angle, beam spacing, beam scale, beam sprite, and there will be more, but that's enough for now. Before creating any objects, we need to first remove all of the objects constructed for the previous set of parameters. Unity doesn't have a method to remove all children of the object, so we just remove them one by one with the first two lines of code. Now the main part, and this will depend on your specific object. But it will probably look similar. In my case, I create a game object with name floor. Add box collider to D. Add sprite renderer and immediately assign its sprite property. Set local scale. And local position. Oh, I actually need to change a couple of things of the sprite renderer. So I save the newly added sprite renderer to a variable first, and then I also change its color, in addition to changing its sprite, like I did before. Some math, which is problem specific and not really relevant for the tutorial. I surround everything with curly brackets to create a scope, so I can reuse sprite variable later. You don't need to do this. What is created exactly the same as the floor? Create a game object, add box collider, set local scales, set local position, add sprite renderer, set sprites, set color, done. Now very important part. We need to make the newly created objects the children of the current object. Otherwise, the first two lines which are supposed to remove all of the previous rooms and which achieve this by removing all of the children of the current object will just do nothing. I get some errors. And Unity hangs. And that is because you need to use destroy immediate instead of just destroy for code which is going to be executed in the editor. The scene was not saved, so I recreate the room, reattach the script, and it still does not work because... Although I didn't copy-paste, I kind of copy-typed. This should be wall. It still doesn't look like it works, but it actually does. There are no errors, and both objects, wall and floor, are created. It's just that they are invisible. The default color is 0 and its alpha is 0 too, which makes it invisible. Set it to 255 and both objects show up. Although I clearly need to fix a bit of my math. Fixed and it works as expected. I adjust parameters in the editor and the object changes accordingly. Now that we have first working example, let's add more stuff to our object. I create a buffer, which is just a box collider without any visuals. Once again, highly problem-specific, not really relevant for the main message of this video, just know you can add anything you need here. Works right away, but I want to do some small changes in the math. Our object is recreated every time we change any of the parameters. But what if we just want to recreate it without changing any parameters? For example, after doing some changes in the code. It's very simple, just add a button as the second condition for calling recreate. Works. You can adjust parameters with game view in mind, and by the way, you can maximize any window by hovering the mouse over it and pressing shift space. The next thing to add is beams, for which I'm going to need beam art. The problem is though that I'm not an artist, but I guess it is solvable. Now, I am an artist, ready to draw a masterpiece. 
first thing I do is draw a line. That's actually it. My masterpiece is complete. Let's import it into Unity. Slice, rename, adjust pivot, drag it to the beam sprite parameter, and then update recreate method to actually create some beams. This part, once again, totally depends on what you need. I determine horizontal beam count, vertical beam count, and then create beams in a loop. And because I'll need two loops for horizontal beams and for vertical beams, and they need to have the same beams, I separate beam creation into a function. Creating a beam is pretty similar to creating a floor or a wall, so nothing interesting. To prevent generating infinite number of beams, I check that beam spacing is not zero. Nothing is visible because, once again, the default color's alpha is zero. Beam angle doesn't work only because I forgot to set it in the code. Let's fix it. All parameters work, but I would like to control the color behind wall, so let's add even more. A bit of refactoring. I create a function createRect and use it for almost everything. Floor, wall, behind floor, behind wall. One thing to remember is that every time we change any of the parameters, the whole object is recreated. This is usually going to be fine because this code only runs in the editor, not when someone actually plays the game. But if you have really complex objects or if you want to implement player-driven adjustments in the final game, then you might need to do something more optimized. At last! All of the parameters are implemented and everything works. Except... If you try to build the game, you'll get this error. To fix it, let's move from editor to a separate file. Which by itself will not solve the problem. Then create a folder named editor and move the script with our custom editor inside this folder. Editor is a special folder in Unity. Whatever's inside, Unity is not going to include in the build. It has to be named Editor exactly, although it can be anywhere in the project. And with all of the editor-related files inside this folder, the build is now successful. This concludes this video. Like it, ask questions in the comments, which I reply to, and check out this video in which I compute number pi with just two colliding blocks and Unity physics, and for which the room created in this video was created. Although that is only the first part, and it doesn't actually use the room, but... Anyway, also check out this video in which I've made a complete maze game from scratch in just 10 minutes, and subscribe not to miss future cool stuff such as bridges, curtains, and much more. Bye!